Would you pay £30,000 for a virtual Nike shoe? What's going on people? My name is Zulfakar and welcome to my YouTube channel which is about helping you overcome the conditioning and programming of this degenerate society we find ourselves in today so that you can fashion for yourself a life of fulfillment, satisfaction, purpose, meaning and consciousness. If you like the sound of that, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about a news article um, which I just saw, which was ab about Nike acquiring a company where they're now going to be creating virtual shoes as NFTs, which could cost as much as £30,000. Now, NFTs obviously are blowing up at the minute. There's a lot of hype around them. Um, and, you know, a few months ago, I set out that I'm going to do my 50 hours of research to try and understand what NFTs are. Now, I'm still in that process. I do have some understanding of NFTs, but obviously I'm nowhere near an expert. And my view is that, you know, NFTs are going to be big. They are going to be the future. They are going to play a big huge massive role in the future but at this moment in time i would say that 99.999% of the nft market is pure and utter horse shit like it's just total rubbish there's just so much crap out there um but you know who am i to say anything because a lot of that crap is being sold for millions and millions of dollars um but that's just my view like i i do believe they are going to play an important role um in everyday living in in the future now i'm thinking 10 20 years down the line um it, it might be quicker than that with the way the uh speed of technology is going at the minute um but for the purpose of this talk like you know um i'm going to talk about obviously the 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 nike nft and just nfts in general because there's a lot of people scoffing at the idea of nfts and you know i can understand why um, but they're also missing the point because the reason why nfts are big and why they're going to be big in the future is because they are status symbols so obviously at the moment the the joke and the meme is i can just save it or or whatnot um, which is all good and well and yes you can do that but the whole point of the nft or the value of the nft is going to come from uh, the status symbol that it represents and, and the example i like to give is you know the rolex so the rolex it's a flex and it's a flex because it's a status symbol and, and in the metaverse or in you know wherever we're heading now the nft is that flex um, but obviously it's in the virtual environment and you know whether you find it valuable or not um, is going to come down to your personal philosophy because ultimately you know what makes a rolex real well you can touch it you can wear it you can show it off as a status symbol for yourself that's all well and cool but then what happens once you die well that rolex still exists in the simulation that we call earth whereas your soul takes its true form and then experiences a different reality in the afterlife when in the metaverse and with nfts the same thing applies in the metaverse you can touch it you can wear it you can show it off as a symbol all cool and well but then what happens once you die or once you switch off from the metaverse well it stays in the simulation called the metaverse whereas you continue on with your true form and experience a different reality which is that not the same thing as the previous example with the Rolex and the afterlife? But here's the thing, like, you know, how many people truly care about the reality that is the afterlife? I mean, these days, you know, a lot of people probably think there isn't an afterlife. There's probably reincarnation or nothingness. Um, again, that comes down to personal philosophy. But how people care about the afterlife today is how people are going to care about the life outside of the metaverse in the future if it does develop the way they want it to develop develop now i don't like the idea of the metaverse i don't agree with it i don't like the idea of these nfts going for so much like you know this 30 grand for a nike nft just sounds completely nuts to me cr like completely crazy to me but having said that like i have 
purchased luxury goods like cars like i've driven mercedes and audis but to my father like they were a waste of money like he scoffed at the idea of me buying an expensive luxury car and the same way that i am now scoffing at these nfts i'm sure the future generation will look at me as a grumpy old man who's just not with the times but like i said i don't agree with it i don't particularly like it i do however accept that this is the future and nfts are going to play a massive role in that future now one thing i do appreciate about the metaverse and nfts is that it really makes you appreciate and contemplate the nature of reality so here's a quick thought experiment for you now imagine in the future 10 20 years from now when the technology is finalized it's pristine it's perfect and it's complete to the point where children will grow up in the metaverse and then they'll become adults and they won't realize that they're in the metaverse in, in, in other words they're always connected it's the only reality they know it's the only experience they've had they don't know anything else and they've just never experienced anything other than what they're experiencing inside the metaverse you know and then inside the metaverse they then meet a crazy conspiracy theorist that tries to tell them look there's more to life than this this is just an illusion it's a simulation there's a whole new world out there there's so much more out there but it's all been hidden from you how do you think those people who've grown up in the metaverse will react will there be mocking will there be derision will there be laughter will they think this is a crazy conspiracy nut that needs to be avoided will they get angry well how do you currently react right now if someone tells you that you're being manipulated to believe in an illusory reality that's keeping you enslaved and subservient without realizing how do you react when someone tells you not to care so much for the glitz and the glamour of this material world because it's a fleeting illusion and focus your energy on trying to make it in the afterlife instead isn't that what the religious and spiritual people try to tell you and how are they mocked and derided in the world we live in today this comes back down to plato's cave um, i did a video on that previously i will put a link to that in the description below or you can click up over here somewhere and watch that video but basically it's about how reality is conditioned and programmed or how people perceive reality comes down to how they are conditioned and programmed from an early age uh, and how they can be manipulated to accept a reality if they don't know there's anything else out there let me know your thoughts like what is your opinion on nfts on your opinion on the metaverse do you like the direction we're headed do you find it exciting or are you worried about it and what is your opinion on the nature of reality are we living in a simulation or is this all that actually is and what happens when we pass on from this life into the next if you even believe in the next life until the next video take care now bye bye